So guys, I hit up the ASOS Boxing Day sales and I wanted to show you what I've picked up to try on. Welcome to my channel, it's a Becky here. Um, I do plus size fashion, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, stuff like that. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, if it floats your boat, then hit that big red subscribe button. It looks something like this pillow over here, down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave me any comments, nice ones please, down below. Um, so yeah, ASOS is an amazing place for plus size fashion um, you really can pick up anything there I would say but it definitely is a little bit more on the spendy side of things like that basket can add up <laughs> when you start putting in three or four things. Um, so I think the ASOS sale is an amazing opportunity to get some trendy plus size pieces. Uh, so I picked up six items uh, today. Uh, I've got some jeans, a couple of tops and some dresses. So jeans, ah, jeans scare me. Um, <laughs> I always kind of dread doing jeans try on because they normally don't fit. <laughs> Uh, but these are the um, Curve High Rise Balloon Boyfriend Jeans. Um, so Emma Tamsin Hill here on YouTube, she said that these are a great fit for if you have more of a tummy but you still want that mum jean style. It's an issue, as most of you guys will know, I've been having where mum jeans just don't fit around my tummy. They just don't have that kind of room in that area. Um, so I got these in a 26 just because they have no stretch. I'd always recommend going a size up in jeans if they do have no stretch. This is a really unusual wash of denim. It almost looks like purpley grey. Very interesting, very different. Um, so here is, here is the jean. I don't know if it's going to fit me, honestly guys. I'm so skeptical, um, but I am super excited. They do definitely like balloon out a bit more kind of around the kind of hip, bum, tummy area. Um, and they are like cut at the bottom. Um, yeah, just interested just to see what this um, style looks for me, see if we have any luck there. Um, but yeah, definitely a really interesting colour. I've never seen a wash of jean um, like this before. So uh, yeah, I really like them. Um, let's keep our fingers crossed that they fit. Who knows? So I don't know why I do this to myself every time, but obviously they do fit. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's, I've had too much Christmas snackies. <laughs> Um, but I honestly just think it is non-stretch jeans just on my cup of tea. Um, so I just get these in a size 26, which is a size up, still too small. Um, and then I think if I got them in a 28, they'd just be way too baggy. Um, I don't know what anyone else thinks, but I feel like if you're buying sale jeans, it's always going to be really risky, probably because they're in the sale for a reason. Um, but they're a really unusual wash. I imagine if you fit these style of jeans, then they could look really nice on you, um, just because they are quite an unusual colour. But I don't really have anything else to fit other than the pockets are actually really shallow as well. Like they're really like, you, I don't think I could even fit my phone in them. They're that shallow. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm going to be taking these back because I can't do them up. But I'll give you a quick spin. And there we go. So then I picked up a little top cardigan thingy above so this is from wednesday's girl one of the more affordable brands on asos really recommend always checking them out if you're on a bit of a budget <clears throat> so this is the wednesday's girl curve fitted cardigan with collar in rib knit they say this is white this isn't white this is cream um and i got this in the 26 as well just because if anything's fitted i'm like size me up please i'm not a fan of super fitted clothing on me personally so here is this cardigan it's very like trendy i feel like i see a lot of kind of um 
smaller girls wear this kind of style with this kind of collar um so i'm interested to see how this looks on me i really like the buttons let me show you the buttons they're like these little pearl buttons that like perfectly match the material really really cute feels quite nice and weighty like it's heavy as well so feels decent quality um i think it's just obviously going to be more about the style and whether i like it um but let's give it a go so here's this little cropped um cardigan i think it's really really cute um obviously you have to be comfortable with um having like your tummy out if you're pairing this with like jeans or something i just put my leggings on because obviously i wasn't going to pair it with those jeans that didn't fit my leggings are actually from asos i I've had these leggings for literally years and they wear really really well and they're from ASOS so I'll try and link them below but they're just really comfy really soft and they don't wear between the thighs like that's never been an issue and I've had them for like years so they're really good and um, but this cardigan this is in a 26 so it has got quite a lot of room in which is what I wanted and I didn't want any like gapping here because I feel like on so many like cardigans and stuff like that it always like pulls here no matter what size you get so i did get this in the 26 and it's like really like oversized i think it could look really cute as well like undone maybe over a little dress or something but yeah i love this really um cool like oversized collar as well it's like super stylized let me give you a close-up because obviously it's um like cream so you might not be able to see it from far away also love how the buttons are like matching they're like this really pretty like creamy pearl color and it's ripped i just think it's really really pretty this is by wednesday's girl um which is one of my favorite brands to shop from and yeah big thumbs up and then from probably one of my favorite brands on asos it is neon rose um so i actually don't own a white shirt um so this was really well reduced um we do love a bargain the only thing i get scared about is having to wash it and iron it i don't want to do that um, so this is the shirt oh sorry i didn't tell you the doo -doo -doo. uh so this is the neon rose plus shirt with puff sleeves um in embroidered cotton so i think this it feels like 100 percent cotton and i got this in the 26 as well <laughs> i do like getting a uh, a bigger size up and it does look really nice and oversized um so yeah it has got quite puffy sleeves and it's got this gorgeous like embroidery on the side i feel like and this gorgeous collar i feel like this is something i'm gonna love um just because it's something that I do find it's quite hard to find in plus size. It's more kind of like dainty, elegant um, pieces of clothing. Like everything's always quite like bold and, you know, I feel like we don't really get much kind of like, kind of more like feminine, like lacy stuff. Um, so I'm super excited to try this. Let's just find the, um, yeah, 100% cotton, um, so super breathable. It feels really like lightweight, um, which is what I would prefer. And yeah, I'm super excited to try this on. And I think I'd definitely probably like tuck it in or something. I think that would look super cute with some jeans. So a bit on the fence about this shirt. While there's some elements of it that I really, really like, like I think the collar's really, really cute and it feels really well made. There are some bits that I'm a little bit like confused about, like the cuffs are enormous, like they're almost like double the size they need to be. They like need to be cinched in and then not, and that's just annoying. Um, and then the sleeves are enormous, but then this is quite tight for a 26. Um, I bought a 26 to be oversized and actually it's like just fitting me. Um, but yeah, it's not pulling at the, um, buttons which is really nice and like I said it is really nice quality I think I'm gonna need to style it up with some jeans ideally I was gonna put them with those the first ones on to like tuck it in and see how it looks but I think I'm just gonna have to do that with my own jeans because obviously I wouldn't wear it with leggings um, but yeah I think it's really like interesting it's got like all these like bits of embroidery like on the sleeve and on the collar and also here as well there's like a lot going on and i feel like we don't get these pieces made for us much in plus size fashion like 
we don't, like, I feel like it's like this delicate lacy style that's really hard to find for us. Um, so I think I'm gonna like style it up first and see how I feel um, about whether I'll keep it or not. But there's the back. And yeah, let me know what you think down below. And then we have some dresses, of course. Uh, it wouldn't be a haul without some dresses. Um, so first up, we've got this black floral print, ASOS design curve, super, over super oversized, super oversized frill sleeve t-shirt dress. Um, so I was thinking comfort, I was thinking spring. Um, I always think like florals are always a super springy moment. Um, my big sunflower t-shirt on i just wanted something a bit cheerful on let's be real guys um so i thought this would be really comfortable I'm not sure how like super oversized this is gonna be oh yeah it is quite big uh okay well it's gonna be like really comfortable to wear that's for sure i feel like this would look absolutely amazing just with some like white nike air force ones that is like top of my list to buy and but i get so worried about making them dirty like i have got like quite a few new pairs of trainers and i just never wear them because i'm like i don't want to get them dirty i'll just keep wearing my really gross smelly disgusting trainers all the time and not get my new <laughs> my new clean sparkling white trainers dirty so but i think i need to get over that fear is there like a spray or something guys that i could use please let me know your tips on keep, keeping your trainers clean down below i really need help in that department um but yeah it's very simple it's nice and kind of like stretchy um let's look at the material i do try and remember to tell you guys because i know you guys are always interested in that 100% cotton so it's definitely like um a woven cotton just to give it that bit of give which to be honest i love it's super comfortable um but yeah i think this is just a really comfy dress with a really pretty pattern as well i feel like you could wear this with like lots of different um things so yeah and i got that in a 24. Uh, so this dress got rave reviews from both parents i'm a little bit on the fence because i just find it really oversized like it is i could probably fit mum in here with me uh, like there is a lot of room but then also i do think like it is super 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 comfortable um, and i think maybe for like spring summer it would be really nice to wear but also just like around the house now with leggings because let's face it that's all we're doing um, but I do think this is a great piece to pick up now for the coming months. Like that's what I always try to do in sales is think, well, what could I wear in spring, summer? Because that's obviously the next season. Um, rather than picking up coats, because obviously you have to wait until like September, October time to wear them again. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was really cute, a great little piece that you can wear going forward, but also you can wear it obviously now, maybe like a nice coat and some leggings or some tights. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think as well down below. Like, is it too oversized or do you think it's just right? Then another little number from Neon Rose. If I can get any of their stuff in the sale, um, I try to. <laughs> they're definitely, um, they're not, they're not expensive, but they're definitely more on the pricey side on ASOS, but I feel like you do get really good quality, so I don't mind um, spending a little extra. Oh, I keep not telling you what these things are. Worst YouTuber ever. That's not what I buy. It is the Neon Rose Plus Mini Dress with Sweetheart Neckline in Navy Tonal Star hue and i got this in 26 and it is a woven body um and it's all polyester it's all polyester but most dresses like this are it's kind of like that kind of like crepe crepe um chiffon -y material um but i've seen this on instagram and so, so oh my gosh okay i wish i got this sooner because this is stunning oh <laughs> I was like, I don't need any more dresses. I don't need any more dresses. And then here I am, absolutely falling in love. Uh, but at least I got it in the sale. So 
good for me. Uh, so the sleeves are like uh, semi-opaque, uh, so you can see my little face through it in navy blue. It's got beautiful different tones of stars, so you've got more of like a uh, light blue more of like a cornflower blue I think there's a white star as well then you've got that kind of like smocking quite long smocking uh, on the wrists here and it is meant to be a sweetheart neckline so well, I think we'll have to see that on um, and then it's got little baby buttons which is very super cute um, and then I will say this is probably going to be like midi long on me like it's not midi but it's not maxi but it's still quite long um, so we'll have to see how that looks i'm glad i got this in a 26 because it does look a bit more kind of like snug kind of a-line it's not like flare it's definitely more to the body but i'm very excited to try this on so here's this lovely neon rose dress um I love their dresses so much. I think they're so unusual um, and really nicely made. And um, so while the shirt was a little bit of a mm -mm, um, I think this dress is stunning. Um, actually, one of you guys told me um, about this dress when it first released and I was a little bit like unsure about whether I was going to pick it up and then it went to the sale and I was like, well, why not? And I love it. So thanks so much to whoever that was. Um, so it's got these like... Um, I don't know what this is called, Mum. What's it called? Shearing. Shearing, like elasticated shearing, yeah. but it's like longer than usual. Um, and as you can Long see, cuff, isn't it? you like the fabric is like slightly sheer with all these different coloured blue stars on it, and then an absolutely stunning neckline. Like it's like a sweetheart with these like frills, and then it has these little mock buttons here, and it fits really nicely. Like. I know a lot of their dresses aren't bigger bust friendly, but this one you could definitely like feel. <laughs> and there's also a side zip, which is amazing, but I just put it over my head. <laughs> um, I would just say though, the skirt is a tighter A-line, so it's not as like floaty and flowy, and that's why I'm really glad I got a 26. I feel like on top I could have got a 24 or maybe even 22 like easily but th the skirt is where i need the room um so it's not tight but i think if i got a 24 it might have been a little bit small um so the slip doesn't have much stretch in it at all and neither does the top fabric um so it is a very kind of like <laughs> stiff dress if you know what i mean um but i find it's absolutely stunning i don't know when i'm gonna wear it um i just like keeping dresses like this for when i return to work this is the kind of stuff I would wear to work. Um, I work in the creative industries and a lot of you guys always ask and I work in advertising. <laughs> um, so wearing something like this in the office is quite common. Um, so I kind of keep dresses like this for hopefully when we return to work. Because um, I think this is such a nice dress and I know everyone would ask me in the office where I got it from. So let me give you a little spin. There we go, how cute. There we go. <laughs> and the final item guys is this wednesday's girl curved mini smock dress with a tie with a tie um again wednesday's girls if you can get wednesday girl in the sale um it's yeah it's great because it's already affordable and that's even more affordable i think this dress was like nine pounds or something um i will say with wednesday girl unless it is their like jersey material like unless it has stretch always size up um just because i do think they are just a little bit smaller but i saw this dress online and just for it was the most gorgeous print it's giving me major like 1950s like you know like d-day is it d-day when they have the little like um party in the street because we've won the war <laughs> D-Day vibes, um, which I'm not complaining at. I think this is a gorgeous little spring dress. And that's the crazy thing, guys. We're going, we're heading in there. We're, you know, the days are getting longer. It's not, well, it's gonna start getting warmer, maybe, eventually. I know we're going into a bit of a cold spell now, but hey, maybe we could just wear this with a cardigan now. Anyway, uh, let me give you a close up of the print. It's really, really beautiful floral print. Um, and it feels really heavy. I am very glad though that I got a 26. 
Um, is there a zip? How do I? Because um, I will say this waist, there is like no stretch. Um, and then there's like no stretch down here either. How do I? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it's very, very pretty. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to have to see if this gets. I think it will be a squeeze, and being a 26. That's a bit of a surprise, but let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, let me tell you what it's made out of. I'm pretty sure it's polyester though, guys. Uh, it does have a lining that has got stretch in it, but if the, the, the stuff over the top doesn't have stretch, you've got no chance, have we girls? 100% polyester, yeah. Um, so yeah, the lining has got stretch, but the material on top has zero stretch, so. Just bear that in mind. So Opal's being really naughty and she's on the table that we've just cleaned. So we're gonna have to clean it again after this. Um, but here is this dress and it's giving me and my major like 1950s uh, V-Day tea party vibes. And we were like singing all like the um, the wartime songs like Run Rabbit and stuff like that. It just give us those like major vibes with like the style. Um, so I think if you're kind of into that kind of fashion or you've got like um, like a themed party or something like this could be amazing and it's also something you could wear like normally afterwards as well. Um, it's really nicely made, there's a lot of like really fun cute details like this little tie, this little um, band around here and the tear down here. I feel like there's a lot of details on it but it's not too much and I think that's because the, the pattern is so like Kapow! <laughs> um, I will say there is a zip, we found the little zip here, um, but this dress is snug. Um, so this is a 26 because I know in Wednesday's girls dresses, if they have no um, giving them, always, always size up because they are, they do run really small. Um, but this one is so, so pretty. Let me give you a close up of the neckline so you have this little tie detail which is really cute and then you also have some ruffles as well and you can see the pattern a little bit better as well and you've got elasticated um arm sleeves as well which is great because you don't want it to get too like tight around that area so yeah this is a really really comfortable dress as well like if you're going to be doing some dancing um stuff like that it's really pretty okay guys i hope you enjoyed that video um let me know if you're picking up any bargains in the asos sale yourself let me know what you picked up down below um hopefully it might have inspired you or um helps you find some bargains in the asos sale uh, everything of course will be linked down below hope you guys are all staying safe and well and i'll catch you guys later bye